By using just two free buy sell indicators on TradingView, you can trade comfortably and consistently profit. Hello everyone, welcome to the Forex Strategy Explorer channel. For many traders, the cost of subscribing to premium indicators is often a barrier. But don't worry, because in this tutorial, we will show you how to utilize two free indicators on TradingView to develop an effective and profitable strategy. We will demonstrate how to use this trading strategy for 5-minute Forex scalping. But it's not limited to Forex trading. You can also apply this strategy to other assets such as gold or XAUUSD, crypto, stocks, and various other assets. We won't make this video too long, so, make sure you stay until the end of the video, and don't forget to support us by liking and subscribing to this channel. Let's get started. To use this trading strategy, you can go to Trading View. Then, go to the Search Indicators tab. In the Search Indicators tab, type BBO Roxana Signals MACD. Next, simply select the BBO Roxana Signals MACD indicator by Bitcoin Blockchain Online. After that, adjust the settings for this indicator. In the Input tab, make some adjustments. Change the short length value to 22. Then, for the long length, change the value to 40. For the fast length, change the value to 9. For the slow length, change the value to 45. Finally, change the signal smoothing value to 30. Once done, simply click OK to confirm the changes. This indicator will be used as a guide for placing orders in the market. A green triangle indicates a buy signal, while a red triangle indicates a sell signal. This indicator is not suitable to be used as a standalone indicator. Therefore, Add one more indicator that will be used as a trend guide in the market. Go to the Search Indicators tab and type Open Close Cross Strategy R5. Then, select the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator by Just Uncle. Next, adjust the settings for the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator. In the Input tab, change the MA type to SMA. Then, for the MA period, change the value to 13. After that, go to the Style tab. In the Style tab, remove a few markers we don't need. Uncheck Trades on Chart, Signal Labels, and Quantity. Then, click OK to confirm the changes. The Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator will be used as a market trend guide. It's very easy to use. If the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator is green, it signals a bullish trend. In this position, your main focus should be finding the best spot to place a buy order. Meanwhile, if the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator is red, it signals a bearish trend. In this position, your main focus should be finding the best spot to place a sell order. Now, let's discuss how to place orders using these two free indicators. How to place a buy order. If the Open Close Cross Strategy R5 indicator is green, it signals a bullish trend. In this position, your main focus is to find the best spot to place a buy order. Wait until the BBO Roxana indicator gives a buy signal. As confirmation, make sure the candlestick formed is a bullish candlestick. If all conditions are met, you can place a buy order after the bullish candlestick closes. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing low. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5.
How to place a sell order. If the open close cross strategy R5 indicator is red, it signals a bearish trend. In this position, your main focus is to find the best spot to place a sell order. Wait until the BBO Roxana indicator gives a sell signal. As confirmation, make sure the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. How to place a sell order. If the open close cross strategy R5 indicator is red, it signals a bearish trend. In this position, your main focus is to find the best spot to place a sell order. Wait until the BBO Roxana indicator gives a sell signal. As confirmation, make sure the candlestick formed is a bearish candlestick. If all conditions are met, you can place a sell order after the bearish candlestick closes. Set the stop loss at the most recent swing high. Use a take profit target with a risk to reward ratio of 1 to 1.5. Always maintain your money management and trading psychology. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's all, and see you in the next video.